Knicks at Spurs. Junior Brown back with NBA Shot Clock on this Friday, March 29th, with another free pick. This is not an official. It's just a lean. And the lean is the under 212.5. Now, my official lean was actually San Antonio uh, under 101.5. 101.5 points is just such a low number that you need everything to go right for you to cash a ticket like that. And I, I'm just not in the business of gambling. I'm in the business of investing, as I've repeated to you guys several times. And I'd rather invest in the Knicks' defense and their lack of ability to score. Now, I can already hear you Knicks fans in the comments talking about, oh, they put up a buck 45 the other day and a buck 20 something. Yeah, against really, really bad teams, which, by the way, the San Antonio Spurs qualify as, so I get what you're trying to say. However, for me, as a basketball fan, the Knicks style of play right now is unwatchable. I know that doesn't matter when it comes to handicapping, but that's why I have not been betting on the Knicks that much. I have no interest in watching Dante DiVincenzo and Miles McBride jack up 25 threes a game. It's just not entertaining to me, but as a capper, I get my information from a combination of the statistics and watching games. So, I say all of that to say the New York Knicks defense has been elite from beginning to end of the season. We're approaching the end of the season right now. We'll see how it looks in the playoffs. But it's been constant. It's been consistent. It's been trustworthy. It's something you can invest in. Same thing applies for the mediocrity of the San Antonio offense. As good as Wembenyama looks, this is a mediocre offense. Here's the thing, though. The reason I don't want to play the under 101 and a half is because the San Antonio starting five's net rating keeps going up. It keeps improving, and they are a good offense with their starting lineup. But that's not how basketball works, right? Everybody gets to play, and as the bench guys come in, that statistic goes south in a hurry. So all of these things, to me, are not, not enough to invest in. Am I going to get what version of the Knicks offense am I going to get? What version of the San Antonio office am I going to get? What's the variance for the Knicks three-point shooting going to look like? Is Dante Vincenzo going to take 10 threes? He's going to take 20 threes. With so many unknowns, i got to get back to the basics, dig back into the statistics, watch a few more games before tonight, before I can invest. But my lean is under 212.5. Ride with me, and let's catch another ticket, y'all.